Hi guys, it's April 11th and today it's supposed to rain this afternoon so I don't think we will be able to do much. We are going to finish the kitchen frame, that's just uh, a tiny bit of work and afterwards we will mainly measure a lot of stuff in the van um, in order to build a frame for uh, in the seating area. So we will have a bed that's uh, able to convert into a sofa but since we have a dog crate under the bed, that means that the bed is very high and we will also have a toilet and uh, that means that the area that we will have um, our feet resting on will have to be elevated and um, yeah, it's going to be quite difficult but uh, that's what we will be measuring today so we'll have to take the toilet and the dog crate into the van and build a measure around it so that's the plan for today and um, yeah, I think it's uh, going to be very difficult, but we'll see. So we knew that the finishing touches here would be very difficult, but you already started working on them. Um, so we have a small piece of wood here, which perfectly matches the window frame. And we had to make that now instead of later, because we still have to cut the cork um, tiles that will fit on here. So that means that we need the exact measurements and that means that it also will look much better afterwards and the same goes for this piece here and in this tiny gap we will have this small piece of wood and all of these three will now have to be painted the same cement grey and then they can be installed here we just put together this support structure for the toilet. It will hold both the toilet and a carbon filter. And this is basically a drawer that we can pull from underneath our bed. Um, and it will, rest, it will sit under the area on which we will rest our feet once the bed is turned into a sofa. So this is made of one three quarter of an inch thick piece of plywood. It has wheels on one end and a support beam on the other with some pieces of filt to protect the floor. And the way it works is we just lift this end up a tiny bit and we can roll it back and forth from underneath the bed or the sofa. And then we can put it in place and use the bathroom as needed. Um, the toilet will rest here and a carbon filter will rest there. This is our toilet. We ordered it uh, from the UK. It is listed as a composting toilet and it separates the solid and the solids and the liquids um, into different containers. And um, it comes with either an active or a passive filter. Um, and we chose a passive carbon filter to save um, drilling a hole in the van and venting the air out and this will just make sure that we don't get a smell in the van and I will list this in the description below so you can check it out um, we really like the look of it because it looks similar to a regular toilet and um, but we don't know much about it yet because we didn't use it obviously you already also cut some plywood to size to finish up the kitchen cabinets on this side so that will cover up the fridge you won't really see it because it will be covered by the wall that embraces the wood burner but it still is great to finish it off and it looks nice it turned out really great today the weather wasn't great meaning that we didn't do much physical work on the van Yori did finish some parts of the window frame and we worked on a structure for the toilet so that's finished and we're happy with that Jordi also cut a piece of plywood that will cover the side of the kitchen frame and that will finish off the area that holds the fridge. But for the main part of the afternoon we worked on designing the bed frame. And that's going to be quite difficult for us because we have to take into account that we have a very large dog crate for the safety of our dogs but we also have a toilet. And that crate will be beneath the seating area and the uh, toilet will be beneath the area that on which we'll rest our feet um, meaning that uh, the bed sofa area will be very difficult to design and currently we are thinking of using scaffolding tubes um, to build the main structure and we are not sure if that's going to work but we're nearly there so we hope that that is 
going to be the final product that we will use and um, otherwise if you guys have any tips please let us know because it's difficult to work with such so many differences in height but using the scaffolding tubes will also mean that if we want to climb onto the sofa if the bed is in the sofa posi position that we will have to climb over a scaffolding tube so we already have to climb into the sofa area quite high so I'm not sure if that's going to be much of an issue but it is the only issue that we are still uh, struggling with currently so we'll let you know about that if we know more and um, how we figure out to build a bad frame of scaffolding tubes um, it should work out great and very sturdy so I hope that that works a friend of ours kindly lent us her car again so we will be able to pick up some stuff um, we hope to pick up everything that we need to install the wood burner uh, and we will also think about buying stuff for the bed frame if we do figure it out tonight so that's our plan for tomorrow the weather should be back to normal we should have lots of sunshine so that means that our mood is up and that we can continue working in the van and um, yeah let's hope that we get some stuff done tomorrow thanks for watching and see you tomorrow